Hello, and welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today, we are looking at a new to me planner, which I actually came across on an Instagram ad. It is the Silk and Sonder Planner, and it is a planner subscription. You get to subscribe on a monthly basis. It is $15 a month. And you can save some money if you want to subscribe for an entire year. And we will talk about that. Your monthly subscription can be canceled at any time. It comes three to five days before the first of the month. So no, you don't have it far ahead for advanced planning. But let's take a look at this. It is a very small, slim book, so lightweight. So if you need something lightweight and If you want something fresh coming to your mailbox every month, so you get a brand new planner every single month, a new color scheme, a new theme every month. This is not just a planner. There is a lot of lifestyle journaling, bullet journaling type of things included in this planner also. So this is their February 2019 theme. The planner is designed, printed, and bound in New York. It comes with this instruction sheet right here. And so it basically kind of walks you through different parts of the planner. You have some self-love affirmations, a self-love jar for you to fill up. You have expense trackers. You have a one thing for every day. We will go over that. You have habit trackers and even mood trackers. So this is just a little instruction sheet that comes in your planner. Right here, you have a space for your nameplate page. And then they go into your index, which is really interesting. Like I mentioned, this is more than just a planner. It comes with recipes every month, um, coloring page, different things. So this way, every page is numbered and you can find what you're looking for easily. I absolutely love that touch that they put on there. I love that every page is numbered at the bottom. Then you have even what page your calendar days start on. I think that is so helpful. And like I said, every month is a different theme and different colors. February is this beautiful florals with ivory and pink. You have notes right here. So if you need to index anything and remember where it is, you have room to add more indexing right there. There's a different theme every month. The February theme is mint rose tea. And so there's a little bit of a letter from the owner and uh, developer You have a 12 month layout right here for your, you know, year at a glance. Then you have a future log right here. So this is really nice since you don't have your future planning months to go put appointments in or vacation days. That's what you have right here. You can go ahead and add those in for the next, they give you the next three months so that you can plan that out before your planners come. Now your monthly layout, a small little area, so you have small boxes. It's beautiful calligraphy in here. It's a Monday start for your monthly layout and it's all put on one page, as you can see. And then a beautiful quote on the next page. You have a mood tracker and they've already given you the mood, so you don't even have to think of that, you guys. It's joyful, sad, energetic, tired, average, and angry. Of course, if you wanted to rename those, you could, but I think they've thought of great ones. If you want to track your mood for the month, it's right there. Their planner has a lot to do with self-care, lifestyle, bullet journaling. Like I said, it's not just a planner. There's a lot thrown in here. So just like you would subscribe to a magazine every month, or you subscribe to different planner monthly subscription boxes or seasonal surprise boxes. This is very similar, but you're getting a brand new fresh planner every month. Also at only $15 a month, it's such an affordable way to try out this planner. You're not committing to a whole planner for the whole year. All you're committing to is to try it for that one month. I also think that this makes a stellar second planner for work planning or blog planning, or just for kind of a journaling planner or a gratitude planner. I think this makes a stellar one. Right here, you have habit trackers. You can track up to six habits for the month. You have a January reflection. So, you know, the prior month, you're going to have a reflection page, and then you're going to have February intentions. So intentions for this month. 
about your spiritual health, personal life, physical health, key relationships, money management, and professional goals. Then you have self-love affirmations and acknowledgements. I love and I'm working on. And then a self-love jar. Think of all the things big and small that you love about yourself or others and write them down in this jar. So like I said, there are lots of journaling prompts in here. Self-love journal exercise. They ask you some questions like list five personality traits that you're most proud of and why. Who was the last person you successfully made smile? How did it make you feel? So there's just some different um, journaling prompts right there for you. You have a coloring page and it's a beautiful heart for February. Another beautiful quote, you have a monthly expense tracker. So it's a date, description, category, and amount right here. Then you have a quote page again. And then you go into some of the more lifestyle things about this planner. They have a highlight every month on someone. And so they give you their Instagram, their name, their blog right there. And they show you some pictures from that person's Instagram. It's Affirmation Addict. And then right here, they ask her some questions. So that's like they're interviewing her and it's a little interview in here. So it's kind of just introducing you to a new social media person, someone you could go check out and see if you're interested in them. Then they give you two recipes for February. It happens to be French onion soup and brie. And I know I won't say the rest of that right. So I won't even try to say it, Um, but it looks like a French puff pastry type of thing with brie cheese, which looks very yummy. And then there is a utopia poem. And then another highlight is another Instagrammer for February. They have picked an Instagrammer that takes pictures all over France, beautiful pictures. So they share with you some of those pictures and they share with you their Instagram. These are the lifestyle things that are included in this planner. Now we're going to go into the weekly layout. And these are just all my notes. So let me show you a weekly layout without my notes and pen test. And then we will get into all those notes. For a weekly layout, you have a four page spread per week right here. Four page spread per week. So your first two pages for every week are kind of like, you know, your planning pages, your meal pages. You have a look at the month at a glance and the week you're on is highlighted. You have Um, some great things to note for the week, like a great food you had that week, a great memory, a great song, news for that week. So this is a planner that includes so much journaling in it. If you keep all these, you are going to have journaled for the entire year. This week, I want to feel weekly major three goals, a habit and activity to track for that week right here, And then your meal plan, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the whole week, starting on Monday through Sunday. Then a shopping list right here for yourself too. So that's kind of your week plan. And they tell you what week of the year you're on. You are on week seven. Then you have your weekly layout and a vertical spread. You have very wide columns for Monday through Friday, but you do have to split Saturday and Sunday, your weekend days. And that's why I said this could be a perfect work planner or blog planner, or just like a journaling type of planner. And so if your weekends are split and that bothers you, those are some other ideas of ways to use this. You have a one thing every day up here, which you can use however it works with your lifestyle, of course. It could be the one thing you have to get done that day. It could be a gratitude for that day, one thing you love that day, one thing you savored that day. Or it could be, you know, more like the most important thing that needs to be done that day. Then you have a notes page, which is on a grid graph paper right here, which they have throughout. It's also in your weekly layout. So let's take a look at that. Your weekly layout is the graph grid paper also all the way through. And I forgot to mention at the bottom of your weekly layout, you have a water tracker and a sleep tracker for how many hours you are sleeping. After your note pages, you have a currently page to fill in. You're currently loving, feeling, enjoying, anticipating, wishing, reading, watching, and planning. And then you go right into your next week. And like I said, touches that I love is that your week number is labeled, the week you're on is highlighted, 
And then it's all the same for every week right here. And you have the beautiful floral touches throughout there. Then you have after this week, since you don't have a currently page like we had here for journaling, you just have two notes pages. And then you go into the next week and then you have two notes pages. And that follows through the end of your month and you end with two notes pages right here. And then they give you the definition on their website. They tell you how they came up with the name Silk and Sonder. And they give you the definition of Sonder here at the back of this month. And it is the realization that each random passerby is living a life as vivid and complex as your own, populated with their own ambitions, friends, routines, worries, and inherited craziness. An epic story that continues invisibly around you. So that's the Sonder definition. And their website does have a lot of information, like how they came up with the name and all those details. All right, let's get into the pen test and the paperweight and how much the monthly subscriptions cost. This planner is seven inches by eight and a half inches. It, I already said this, it arrives two to five days before the first of every month. You need to subscribe before the 15th of the month to receive it before the first of the next month. Now you can still subscribe after the 15th, it says on their website, but you just won't be guaranteed to receive it by the first of the next month. Definitely, if you're gonna subscribe, check out all their frequently asked questions for all the subscription question information. Their paper is a 70 pound paperweight, which equates to 105 GSM. It's really amazing, great paper. I will show you on the back. I even tested a fountain pen. At first it wasn't flowing out good, so that's why I had to rewrite it there. Now, on a month by month basis, your subscription is just $15. But once you subscribe, you are subscribed monthly. You have to go in and cancel it if you do not want it to come after that month. If you're getting an annual subscription for the whole year, you save $60, so it's $120 for the whole year. And then you can do a gift subscription for six months for $72 or a three month gift subscription for 45, but you're not saving money on the 45. They currently only ship in the US. I am so sorry to my international people. I felt so bad when I saw this because I know I have many international gals on here and I'm sorry, right now they are currently only shipping in the US, but they are still a very small company. And I am sure that's something they're working on changing. If you are someone who's outside the US who would be interested, I would suggest emailing them so they know exactly how many people outside the US are really interested and they could work on that. I already mentioned this, but it's not just about planning. It's about productivity and planning, but it's about introspection, mindfulness, lifestyle content, journaling prompts, and it's inspired by bullet journals. You can tell from the look of this, but it's bendable. It's so portable and so thin. The cover is coated in something that I feel like would not absorb water. And it's like a cardstock cover. And I feel like that it could take a beating and still work. The coil has no problems at all. And it's just like your little monthly book and you only have to carry it for one month. So no matter how beat up it gets, you're getting a brand new one the next month, you know, if you choose to stick with your subscription. I thought it was a very interesting and unique concept and they're making a really beautiful product. I have not seen anything like this, a subscription planner service one month at a time like this. I'm happy that they allowed me to share it with you guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think down in the description box because I know I am always interested to know how you guys feel about these different, you know, unique and different products. And I know that the companies, especially small companies, really want to know how you're feeling and they come and read the comments and it helps them in their product development. So let me know what you're thinking about the subscription planner service down below in the comments. All right, guys, happy planning. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.